Ever felt like something you swear happened just didn't? Or that a movie quote you've recited a thousand times is actually completely different? If you have, you're not alone. Welcome to the perplexing, mind-bending world of the Mandela Effect. The term Mandela Effect was coined by paranormal researcher Fiona Broom. She discovered that a large number of people shared her vivid yet incorrect memory of Nelson Mandela dying in prison during the 1980s. In reality, Mandela was released in 1990 and lived until 2013, eventually becoming the president of South Africa. So what's going on here? Are our memories just flawed or is something deeper happening? Let's dive into some of the most famous and baffling examples that have people questioning their own sanity. Hands up if you remember the Monopoly man wearing a monocle. Seriously, close your eyes and picture him. Most of you probably see it. But here's the kicker, he never had one. Check the official logo, it's not there. So why do so many of us distinctly remember this detail that simply doesn't exist? Then there's one of the most quoted lines in movie history. Luke, I am your father. Except, that's not what Darth Vader says. The actual line is, no, I am your father. Entire generations have misquoted it, convinced that the name Luke was in there. Is it just a collective mistake or something else warping our perception? And what about the Berenstain Bears? Or Berenstain? This one hits hard for anyone who grew up reading those books. How do you remember it? B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N or B-E-R-E-N-S-T-A-I-N. Most people swear it was spelled with an E, but the official correct spelling, what it's always been, is with an A. How can so many people be wrong about something they were sure of? So what are the theories behind this strange phenomenon? One explanation is faulty memory and confabulation. Our brains are powerful, but they're not perfect. When there's a gap in memory, we often fill it with what seems right, even if it's not. This combined with confirmation bias, where we favor information that supports our beliefs, can make false memories feel very real. Another theory, parallel universes. Some believe the Mandela effect is proof we've shifted into an alternate reality, one where small details are different. It's a mind-bending idea, but for some people, it explains the unexplainable. And then there's the simulation theory. Maybe we're living in a simulated reality, and the Mandela effects are just glitches or bugs in the system. Code that didn't quite update the same way for everyone. Regardless of what you believe, the Mandela effect challenges how we see reality itself. It forces us to confront the fact that what we remember isn't always what happened. So what about you? Have you experienced a Mandela effect? Is there a memory you are absolutely sure was real only to find out it wasn't? Drop your mind-bending examples in the comments. Let's see how many shared false memories we can uncover together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and don't trust your memory.